Hello everyone, welcome to Mr. Tech Tuner. Today we are going to discuss week 3 of operating systems and you becoming a power user. So in this course or in this week, we are basically going through the software distribution. Okay, so the first quiz of software distribution, we are going through this. So first question, what is the difference between an exe file and an msi file? Okay, so first of all, an exe file is an executable file that may have an msi file as one of its resources or not. And MSI files are used by the Windows installer to control how your application is installed. And the second question, when would you want to use an MSI file to guide the installation of a program as opposed to an EXE? The answer will be when you want the Windows installer to perform bookkeeping and set up the application at the cost of following the rules installer requires. Okay, so that's answer number three. If you are performing an installation from the commands like Windows line, a uh, command line in Windows, what's the best method of checking out the options? that the installation text provides. Uh, try to use question mark uh, has backslash question mark black slash h or slash help flags when running the package to see if they provide any helpful output or not. Consult the documentation for the application to see options they provide. And number four, what is the difference between apt and dpkg? apt is used for a package manager as a package manager and apt installs package dependencies. dpkg is used as an standalone Debian package command. Number five, which of the following file extensions are considered archives in Windows? They are .tar, .zip, and .rar file. Where's the uh, PowerShell commandlet you can use to extract and compress archives right from the command line? Compress archive. Where's the purpose of DLL files in Windows? They are used to share a package of useful code among programs. Most shared libraries in Windows are managed by which of the following? Side-by-side -side assemblies or SXS. Where is the correct commonlet to use in order to find a software package in the available package sources from the PowerShell command line? And this is find packages. So that's all about software distribution. We are going to our next quiz, which is basically about package manager. Okay, so let's see what package managers have about. The first question, which of the following PowerShell commands will install the package? Awesome software from Chocolatey software source. So we need to use the first command, install package, install uh, dash package dash name uh, awesome software dash source chocolatey. That's it. Before you install software, which of the following commands should you run to get an updated version of your software? apt update. That's it. So we are going to our next quiz, uh, which is basically about uh, what's happening in the background. That's a single question. But you also know which of the following tools allow you to create and edit an MSF file. This is Okra. Okay, so Orca, not Okra, sorry, Orca file. So now we need to go about, we already talked about software distribution, package managers, for happening background, now we have device software management. Okay, so basically in device software management, the first question, which of the following is the piece of information that the Windows will use to search for the, the right driver? This is hardware writing. In Linux, in the dev directory, uh, which is start with SD, uh, can be associated with what type of device? These are hard drives, USB drives, memory sticks. Okay, so which of the following uh, current correctly describes a security patch? It's a kind of piece of software that's meant to fix up a security hole. So finally, we have done all our quizzes. Now we are going to our graded assignment. So for this assignment, we need to create, update, and remove software in Windows. So as usual, you need to open the tool of QuickLab. Now you start the QuickLab, and then you will find uh, IP address. So now you know what we should do. We should search for our remote remote desktop connection open it okay so copy the ip address paste it and copy the student name paste it copy the password and also paste it now okay and yes so our remote desktop connection is loading we are accessing the virtual machine now we need to install our uninstall software using gui okay so you can see there is a some steps at home we need to go through five steps so okay, we are going to install and uninstall software using the gui okay so first of all we need to copy the link because we will uh, download the atom file from this and we need to open the download folder okay so now we are going to our remote desktop everything is loaded cross open the chrome and now just in the search box paste the address enter so it will take some time in loading so all we need to do is just download this file and install it okay so then we need to check our progress okay so it's already loaded i think so basically the broadband connection is not up to the mark that's why it's just a kind of buffering okay so now press the download button here okay so whenever you download the file will be automatically downloaded 
and then just press show all okay so it will also take some time show in folder okay so double click yes run uh, that's an app from github so whatever it will install within a few minutes so minimize and also minimize so we can go to our next we need to extract some file using 7zip okay so for this we need to go to this directory user then quick lab then downloads okay so we can see this already is being installed okay so we need to wait some moment for this okay so we will not waste our time in the meantime we can go to user quick lab and then document so far i think right yeah do oh sorry downloads downloads now what we need to do uh, this folder contains a file called tar okay so you don't have the permission to extract this file so click and drag it to desktop okay so what you need to do is just select it and then move it here continue okay so i think it's done okay so our app is also ready but we don't need anything just cross it okay so first of all we should check our step one check the progress whether it is done or not okay so it's done so now we are going to extract this one right and see what happens here i click 7g extract here and yes the files are extracted okay so i think we have already done it so check our second progress that's also done now we need our archi uh, archiving files okay so for archiving what we need to do again okay so i'm showing you what you need to do just go to the same folder quick libs see that there's documents right and there's three files art margary and venus okay so what you need to do you can do this by using your windows powershell right so just go there powershell run as administrator yes so you can do this by powershell okay so just right click here enter and then again the second command of the marketing enter yes done it's compressed so now check your progress either it is compressed or not yes done you see that's so easy right now we need to check some cli right again right click enter okay so we need to install the file name chocolatey okay enter now the last command and yes obviously yes press y enter okay so that's done now what we need to do is using chocolatey for installing the vlc player okay just copy it right click enter and yes or no what the answer will be so that will be a yes to all make it a large screen right click enter okay so that's really easy just copy here and now everything is done check your progress yes done now we need to do what just install the gimp okay so okay you can see this okay installing the following packages yes the process is ongoing and the final command okay so you see the gimp already installed so get the package yes that's done finally we have done all our assignments of quick lab so now it's conclusion time for ending the lab yes we will end the lab and obviously all right submit and after that cross the tab went there and just press next okay so we have now another assignment of linux okay so we will do the same assignment but this time we will do this with our other linux so download the ppk and then we need to search for our another file right you remember the name right the putty putty so run as administrator yes okay so 
copy the username paste at the rig external IP address paste ssh auth browse the ppk file that's already downloaded open open yes yes to all okay so now what we need to do just enlarge it cross it okay so first of all installing atom copy the code for installing the atom so it will take us to the data page and from this we will need the second command it will take some time for unpicking the atom okay so wait for this time and done now we need to install this okay so the package is installed and why for continuing now we need to verify the package uh, the progress is going on 14 percent okay wait some moment for loading Ninety nine percent and it will be done. Okay, thanks done. Now our next count PPKG. Okay, so it's done. Check our progress. I think it's done. And it should be done. Now we need to extract an archive, right? Right click. Okay, so now Zuruter. Check the archive. Uh, either it is extracted or not. Now archiving files. We will start archiving files the same as art mercury and venus okay so you see the files are already archived okay so now what we need to do is we need to install the 7 zip file and we need also to use the 7 zip okay so obviously y for yes and it's done okay so we can verify the package by dpkg yes the package is verified okay so check your progress has done now we need to install the gimp file so easy so do i remove gimp and yes why and the file is removed now check or verify the common yes verified yes i think linux work is very very easier than the windows one so then you can end your lab and okay so after ending the lab you will submit a five star review and then you will see the hundred percent score there and that's all thank you for staying with us and hope you will Press the like button and subscribe for the latest update. Until then, thank you.